I'm running for President of the United States, sorry. history of this country, even conservative presidents. And that is for cheap political gain. What he has done, and is trying to do today, is to divide our nation up based on the color of our skin, based on where we were born, based on our sexual orientation, based on our gender, based on our religion. And I think, you know, honest people can have different disagreements about health care and talk about that, education, climate change, all that stuff. But the function of a president of the United States is to bring people together, not to what our presidency will be about. Uh, yes. Yes. And I want to welcome all of you to a campaign which says loudly and proudly that the underlying principles of our government will not be greed. I'm sick and tired of the greed yes. that we see yes. in this country. Yes. It is a true disease, and people have written about it. You know, alcoholism, a disease. Drug addiction, a disease. And yet this desire of some of these billionaires, I mean, how many billions of dollars do you need to feed your family? Yeah. Enough for is enough. Yes, yes. And we're going to take on that greed, we're going to take on the hatred coming from the White House side, we're going to take on the lies. Our campaign and our government will not be based on racism, sexism, homophobia, xenophobia, or religious bigotry. The principles of our government will be based on a very, very old principle, a principle which literally goes back through the Bible, goes back throughout human history, and that is justice. Yeah. Justice. Yeah. And when I'm talking about justice, I'm talking about economic justice, I'm talking about social justice, I'm talking about racial justice, and I am talking about environmental justice. Yeah. Environmental justice means that people in Iowa and elsewhere in this country should not have to be smelling manure 24 yeah. hours. special interests who control so much of our economic and political life that we will no longer accept the greed of Wall Street, corporate America, and the billionaire class. Greed which has resulted in this country having more income and wealth inequality than almost any major country on earth and creating a situation which is worse today than at any time since the 1920s. Exactly. You're not going to see this discussed on TV, you're not going to hear too much on the radio, but here is a reality that this campaign and our government will address. It is not acceptable to me, nor I think the majority of the American people, that the three wealthiest families in America, three families, own more wealth than the bottom half of American people. You know, when we were kids, you know, we studied, you know, we studied about what goes on around the world and different types of governments and societies. 
And you teacher told you about oligarchy here and oligarchy there and a few families control the economy and the politics of those countries. Well, that is precisely what is happening in America today. We are moving in the direction of oligarchy and together we are going to turn that around. That's the economy today. Economy is doing great for the one percent, not so great for ordinary Americans. Forty-nine percent going to the top one percent, while in Iowa, Vermont, and all over this country, millions of people are forced to work two or three jobs just to put food on the table. Yeah. Mm. Just in, in Burlington uh, a few hours before, and a guy stood up and said, "I work." at McDonald's make nine dollars an hour. Nobody can make it on nine bucks an hour or ten bucks an hour. And furthermore, we don't talk about this. You know why the American people are stressed out? And I go all over the country, I go all over my own state. People are stressed. And one of the reasons they are stressed is that half of the American people are living paycheck to paycheck. I grew up in a family that lived paycheck to paycheck. And I know what that did to our family. And what paycheck to paycheck means is that millions of people today are scared to death that their car might break down. And if their car breaks down, they can't get to work. The boss doesn't want to hear an explanation. They can't get to work. They don't get to work, they get fired. They get fired, they can't take care of their kids. People living under incredible stress. People are living paycheck to paycheck, scared that their kid will get sick. And they don't have enough money to take that kid to the doctor. And God forbid the kid ends up in the hospital, your family faces financial ruin. Millions of families are in that boat in the richest country in the history of the world. We could do a hell of a lot better economically.
this disastrous Citizens United Supreme Court. Yeah. Can't do it. At a time. 
time when Republicans want to cut Social Security, we talked about expanding Social Security. <laughs> But the idea that folks in Iowa and Vermont who are trying to get by on $13,000 a year should get more money, that was too radical an idea. <laughs> and here's another radical idea. I was asked what I consider to be one of the great national security issues facing this country. It was a national debate. And everybody thought I would say ISIS and Al-Qaeda. <laughs> and what I said was climate change. Yeah! Office and not have super PACs funded by billionaires. Yeah. 